we want to welcome all our viewers to another wonderful time with God and glorious morning shower. Our devotional platform coming your way every morning by 6 a.m. to connect you to God. So the word coming your way this morning for your for your shower is restoration time to renew. A restoration time to renew. When we talk about restoration, you know, don't worry, we'll soon go into we'll, we'll bring you closer spiritually. But when you hear the word restoration, it is a time to rebuild. When the city of Jerusalem was lying in ruin, Nehemiah and all those army that the Lord used to rebuild didn't stay there to prophesy. They didn't stay there to pray. How that you have prayed, you need to sit down on a round table planning to rebuild. So as God is going to bring about restoration, like one thing I always tell people, I say, the devil is not your problem. The devil is not as powerful as we credit to him. The Bible said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Who is the one that is in the world? The devil. So greater is in you. <laughs> so, Bishop Poetipo said, there is no devil anywhere. Man is the devil of himself. Now, you know, it is out of curiosity that maybe, you know, because we have so much pile up things on the devil. Have you prayed? Has God assured you of restoration? You see, it doesn't take God so much time to perform his own part. You know, so if he says so, he will do so. He has declared your restoration. So what do you need to do? Sit down now and do what? And rebuild. Amos chapter 9 verse 14 says, and I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel. And they shall build the wasted cities and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyard and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. They shall plant, not God, they shall plant they shall build. So is God coming down to build you? The Bible says, the scripture say, building up your most holy faith, praying in the spirit. So you need, the act of building it is your responsibility. I pray that God give you this understanding in Jesus' name. Now, listen to Isaiah chapter 58, verse 12. This is the scripture that gave birth to our church platform. You know, we run a ministry, a missionary ministry that we're into media, like what I'm doing now, and we're into church planting and several other projects. Education is a platform that God has given to us, and we're believing God that by His grace, He will give us more voice in Jesus' name. Now, this gave birth to our church platform. A time will come, I will tell us more about that. Now, Isaiah 58 verse 12 says, And there shall be of thee that shall build the old waste place. Thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of the paths to dwell. The rest thou no, no God. So you mean I am also a product that's supposed to restore? Restoration does not come from God alone. We also, you see, you see, you see, you see, 
the repairer of the bruise, the restorer of of path to dwell. Not God is talking about. It's not talking about God. If you go back to the beginning here, and there that shall be of thee, there that shall be of thee. How I wish you hearing me now can go into your the Bible in your dialect. Ibo, Yoruba, Ikala, Thief. By the grace of God, I know that we have Bible in our dialect. It's virtually no tribe in Nigeria that does not have a Bible translated into his dialect. If you go through this, it will tell you strong meaning of what God is talking about here. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste place. Thou shall raise up the foundation of many generations and thou shall be called the repairer of the bridge the restorer of the path to dwell so it is time to rebuild my brother my sister rebuild your life your life that the devil scattered one time god has restored that life back already sit down what is it that i did that gave room to the devil how i'm also rebuilding i have cut down so many things around me i have caught even movement i have caught so many things now i meditate a lot i read a lot i rest i pray you see in that process god begin to open your eyes to so many things you see there is something about your life that god is going to use to turn the situation around but it's there but because you are too busy jumping from pillar to pole, it's difficult for you to assess to, to ascertain it, no, to assess it. So you need to sit down, calm down. The Bible says, "Be still, then you shall see the salvation." Your salvation is by the corner, but until you are still, you can't see it. Until you are still, it was when they calm down that the red sea parted they are complaining they are murmuring most of our prayers are a bunch of complaint and murmuring sometimes you need to just calm down you need to sit down sometimes not mentioning a word to god for hours and just be thinking about the future it is in that process you see the way may the lord show you the way today so that you can start rebuilding start rebuilding so one of our mandate is to restore the old wasted places that for any rejected destiny in case your life is overwhelmed with rejection and dejection you can contact us so that we can talk to you more on this come put a call to us send us a message so that we can help you, give you scriptures, give you understanding, knowledge that could help you come out of that thing the devil is trying to use to suppress you. You are not meant to remain there. Have not prayed about it? Rise up. Commence the process of rebuilding and the Lord shall make your life glorious. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless your glorious morning shower this morning. Today is a new day, and it has been announced that it is your day of rebuilding. May your life be built back again in Jesus' name.